Hey everyone, welcome to The Awakening. Whew, what a beautiful warm day in the UK. I've got my Blendjet. <laughs> I did a little review about Blendjet. I'm just going to have a drop here. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. It actually crushes ice. I'm not kidding you. You put the ice in and it crushes it. Anyway, <laughs> you can watch the review. It's on here. But welcome to the awakening and taking you from the dark into the light. And I've decided I'm going to do these um, 30 minutes awakenings for you, but I'm also going to do like little short um, awakenings, um, like quick positive flashes, <laughs> so to speak, to the best of my ability. I've got all my positivity here for you as much as I can. So, as I'm taking you from the dark into the light, I have to also give you the darkness, don't I? So um, I have to start out with the darkness, with the madness that's going on out there. People panicking, people fit frightened. Stop watching the news, stop watching the media. I don't feel scared of anything uh, at all. And so a lot of us don't because we know it's not the truth. It's just a massive smoke screen. And, Today, I put on a piece of music in a film called Heart Vision for you. Please watch it. I'm going to put some of it in here as well, in the background. It's um, showing you to see from the heart and not just the eyes, because you see, when you see from the eyes, all you see is chaos and madness and everything going crazy. But that's just the eye seeing everything being played out, the ending of an old system, the old world. It's like you're being tested to see how can you not see that anymore um, and move on. So I'm moving on. A lot of us have moved on. I do my work every day. I, I'm having the best time of my life. We're moving on TV, growing the viewers, growing the subscribers, having fun, doing new programs every day, giving you the love, giving you the heart vision now again looking at the darkness and bringing you into the light so this is why i do in this program um to inspire you and, and so so many of us now we're not looking at the social media anymore and not looking at the darkness look i put on to moving on tv what is sent to me because i'm a messenger so if someone's got a message that is showing you more darkness i'll put them on but me personally, I, I'm in heaven. I feel so good. I feel happy. Uh, most of the time I have my breakdowns like everyone else, but I'm not feeding into it and I don't believe it anymore. I believe in what I feel from here, that it's all coming good, guys. It's all coming good and everything is coming up to be cleared. It's like a detox, a massive detox, you know? when you start to heal yourself there's pain and pain brings up all the shits and uh, you know i mean if you put it down to layman terms if you have a fever or you eat something that's bad for you you have to shit it out <laughs> you have to get out of your system or vomit it out and that's what's happening to our world you're bringing it all up you're vomiting it out so that's how the body heals itself and so if you look at the world as a body that is going into detox mother nature is in detox the environment's in detox people are in detox and it's all coming up it's all coming up it's all coming up so you need to watch people like me and charlie ward and go to places like the positivity center in vernon when they open and watch Paul McDonald, watch all these amazing people that I'm putting out there for you, smiley, happy people like Lee Dawson, like Kai Ashley, like Martin, like Jaden, uh, Charlie, I already said, um, all the people I'm interviewing um, that are telling you that we're coming through this. Even Mark Steele, he's telling you to stand up for yourself, but we're coming through it. Brad Yates, who teaches you tapping. So if you're in a state of panic, do tapping, you know, tapping, tapping. But the best thing I know 
that's going to help you, my darling, in life is to find your dream, get up every day and live that dream. You don't have the time left to panic. <laughs> the only panic I have at the moment is when Adobe crashes on me and I can't get my programs out. So today I'm talking to you about pain. Pain. And pain leads to salvation. Pain with everyone I know, every healer, everyone that is doing this work, God's work, love's work, has gone through intense pain somewhere along the line, whether it's in their childhood, whether it's in their adulthood, we have all gone through intense <coughs> pain in order to become the strong, courageous healers that go out and heal the planet. Us, you and me, you and me, all of us, all of us. Look at this beautiful, beautiful crystal. I got it at the Positivity Center, but I mean, look at it. Look at that, focus on that. Look at it, how gorgeous it is. Now that will take your mind off everything. And today I've come here to tell you that the pain leads to something better. Think about it. A woman has to have massive pain to bring a beautiful child into the world, doesn't she? The beauty, the creativity comes from huge pain. I should know. Everyone I know that's created beautiful pieces of music, every composer, everyone has dug it up from them from somewhere because that's how you feel it. Why do you think that uh, the music of black people is so touching and so beautiful a lot of the time? I'm not talking about the other stuff that, you know, that they, they destroyed um, morals and with the lyrics and stuff. I'm talking about um, the stuff that was Al Jolson, you know, um, who sang um, Swanee and all that beautiful stuff. I'm talking about Louis Armstrong. I'm talking about it. Gershwin wrote, Gershwin wrote, um, Showboat, Old Man River, Porgy and Bess. Um, Nat King Cole, all these amazing, amazing, amazing writers were they're all black. And the intense suffering of the black people, the intense suffering that came from the unbelievable torture of slavery, one of the worst things that could have happened on our planet that is happening now, as, and that's why we're at war, and um, children torture and children and innocence that's where creativity comes from because what happens is your heart chakra opens and that piece of music that i've written with paul mcdonald is called heart vision it came from here and it was inspired if you listen to it and you watch that film you will feel inspired to get up and live your dream. You will be inspired to start something like I have, like he has. It comes from the gut. It came after a huge healing experience that I had on the Bionamics bed, which is the sound and light. A huge experience of feeling like I was back in the Holocaust again. And then, he brought, he, he brought all that up in me. This is what Paul does in, in, on this set uh, with this light and sound. He brought that, all that up. He knew it had to come up and it was like a past life, but he brought it up. And then the, he, he put on another piece of music and, and the light was everywhere. And then when it ended, he started sitting there on the keyboard playing da, 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 something like, and I started doing, and that's how it came and and bit by bit it grew and grew from that intense pain that i was suffering when i went through that experience on the sound and light bed i was crying and i said i don't like this but let it come up let it was wars and pain and suffering of the world he brought it out of me I brought it out of a lot of people that day because it was on Facebook. Because that's how it works. You bring the pain up and then you get the clarity, the love, 
the vision, the intense abandonment and loss that I went through when I was in the wheelchair when dad died. I had no one except my husband, two cats and the occasional friend. Brought moving on TV back. It brought Casey Armstrong into my life who and moving on theater and we toured after that because the intense pain and the gratitude of getting out of that wheelchair but being on your own in a wheelchair it really wakes you up strengthens your arms as well <laughs> not just your spirit and then the lockdown the minute the lockdown happened and they cut me off facebook they did me such a great favor so thank you whoever told them Thank you, that person that rings me up and says I'm a fake mad bitch because they inspire me every day to carry on with my work. Because I'm not, I'm not mad. None of you are mad. Madness is something the society told us we were because we're different. And my prayer is for that person to find that joy inside of them, to find out why they need to attack me. I think it's a cry for help. I think when someone does that, it's a cry for help because there's something wrong in here. So today, as I say, I'm taking you from the dark into the light and I'm showing you that everything that is positive, Martin Luther King, uh, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi, Jesus, they say that Jesus' resurrection came from intense pain of crucifixion. Now, I believe it's a metaphor. Of course, the miracles teaches me that's a metaphor. So there is no crucifixion. We crucify ourselves. And of course, the miracles tells me to see from here, from the heart. There is no crucifixion, um, literally. We crucify ourselves. We sabotage ourselves. And I'm going to put on a program with Kai Ashley that will show you that, how to come out into the light. So I'm going to go into the allotment soon and keep getting my roots up and do some work. Since I've started doing this allotment, I have to share something with you. Um, as I said, I started to get rid of this massive varicose vein in my leg when I, I went on the sound and light bed in the positivity center. And it started to go down. It, it went down such a lot. And I did share that. However, since I've started doing gardening and walking and, 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 and just literally using that shovel with my leg, it's gone, completely gone. So there's your answer. It's fluids, fluids flowing, you know? Um, okay, you know, uh, I'm taking vitamin D, I'm taking vitamin C as well, but I've done that a lot of the time. This is because of exercise and being in nature. And, and in a garden, growing and, and doing the work in the body. The body's moving. The body's moving. Every time I stick that spade in the ground and push my foot down, I am using the leg that was injured. So pain, huge pain came from that. And now look what's happening. It, it's just incredible how life works. And for me to sit here, and to say this, when people have seen me at my worst, and my gratitude today goes to the Positivity Center and Paul McDonald. This is birthday today, so happy birthday, dear friend, brother, mentor, teacher, happy birthday soulmate, for giving me so much tough love and so much kindness and so much compassion and beautiful, beautiful hot chocolates in the winter, the best old hot chocolates you'll ever get from Cecile, his partner, and crystals and oh, just a space where I would go to let go of the grief and cry and cry and they just let me do it. They just let me do it and that happened for a few years. And now moving on TV, it was born in 2014, but it's been reborn through the lockdown. And all of you, I want you all on board because when you watch Heart Vision coming from the darkness, you can see the mess. You can see bits of leaves lying around there. I don't know why I filmed like that. I just did. I put music on the background. I walked around with the camera because I'm showing you the mess 
I'm showing you a mess of leaves and bits of wood and broken glass and this ordinary man walking gently, gently, slowly, slowly, a being, a human, walking through that, walking through life. He's not getting upset. He's just letting it happen around him. That's the way the world is. He's detaching with love. Seeing from here, Martin is walking, as you can see, gently, not paying any attention, carrying on with his work, the same way as I am, the same way as Charlie is, the same way as Paul is, the same way as Kai is, the same way as Brad is, the same as all these Lee and all these amazing people, Greg, that I'm interviewing, I'm moving on TV for you. We're all carrying on our work. We're not looking at the chaos and the mess. We're moving on, we're moving forward, we're moving forward, Paul Boggy Brighton. All these amazing people that are moving on TV, Alison DeMarco with her amazing book, everything that I'm putting out there for you, all these interviews. Unity, the Unity Prayer Line, they're carrying on. Samaritans are carrying on. Q is carrying on. <laughs> President Trump is carrying on, draining the swamp. Everyone who's got a mission is going out there, carrying on, carrying on. Lisa Wellness Chick, all of you that support this now, all you beautiful people that are coming on, moving on to be supporting us. There's an interview for you from the heart from me to you. Grow with us. And so what I'm saying is when you look at heart vision, you see that man gently walking with all the chaos behind them. And then you see this beautiful seed come out from the glass. You see this beautiful flower flowering. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know how I did this, but you've got the chaos and then you've got the, it shuts down and it goes slow and slow. That's the lockdown. That's the lockdown. Everything starts to go really slow. All the leaves start to go really slow and everything pauses. And then they blend in a beautiful way. United we stand. United we stand, divided we fall. United we stand. They blend, the leaves blend, the cultures blend, all humanity blends. And that's when that flower comes up. The flower of survival, humanity, love and compassion. Out of the chaos and out of the pain, heart, vision. And then you reach to the sky, and there's the sky. The clouds go away, and there you have it. There you have it. You reach for the sky, and we get the beautiful, beautiful world that we have prayed for all our lives, all existence, from the beginning of existence. How to stay sane in the crazy world. I am so inspired today. Um, and I'm just inspired today because I've seen the views growing. It makes me happy. Um, and as I say, it's a, a special friend's birthday today, soulmate, uh, who changed my life in a big way and changes a lot of people's lives with his visions, heart visions. So, yeah. Watch his programs, watch his life story, because he went through intense pain, intense addictions, and came through. So watch that. I've been putting that out today. The news is a no-no today. Again, came up today. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the mainstream. Watch moving on TV. I'm going to do my best to abstain from watching the news today. Instead, I'll watch Lawrence moving on TV. <laughs> today, you've chosen one of the best ways to stay sane. You're being asked not to watch the news. Okay, so it came up again. <laughs> so I love you lots, guys. Please keep subscribing, sharing, liking. We love you. I'm going to put people on with the smiles. I'm looking for a child to introduce the happy news. Um, and all come on board with me on TV. Jaden's done a new program uh, from Australia, talking in isolation, communicating to us from Australia. Soon there's going to be a studio for moving on TV. I'm not sure where, but we're going to set up a studio, a live studio with lights and 
cameras and everything like the background like a professional studio where you can come and be interviewed it's going to be amazing and the main mcm msm the mainstream media will be you you your stories not like in the past here's a, a little dark snippet when i went to loose women and asked them to put me on with all my work no you can't put you on you're not famous you're not a celebrity you're not going to get reviews what i'm saying to you is you are famous you are a celebrity i don't give whatever we're all equal like those leaves in heart vision and i am now going to make a program about heart vision and explain the message behind the song, that piece of music and film love you lots